Good morning and welcome to this morning's devotion. It's uh, Friday, January 15th. This morning I'm reading from The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. This morning it's uh, Stepping Out of Fear. And there's a quote from Parker Palmer, which says, I will always have fears, but I need not be my fears, for I have other places within myself from which to speak and act. No feeling takes over our lives more suddenly or more completely than fear. It seems to come up from nowhere and in a, in a blink or swallow can infect everything. The French, the blind Frenchman Jacques Le Surin, describes how fear was the only thing that was truly prevented for him from seeing. Still, he quotes, there were times when the light faded almost to the point of disappearing. It happened every time I was afraid. If instead of letting myself be carried along by confidence and throwing myself into things, I hesitated, calculated, thought about the wall, the half-open door, the key in the lock, if I said to myself that all these things were hostile and about to strike or scratch, then without exception, I hit or wounded myself. The only easy way to move around the house, the garden, or the beach was by not thinking about it at all, or thinking as little as possible. Then I moved between obstacles, the way they say bats do. Otherwise, what the loss of my eyes had not accomplished was brought about by fear. It made me blind. More than anything, fear blinds, and only stepping uh, without hesitation into the next inch of the unknown can we build confidence in the life we are about to live. Um, fear. My thought was, you know, throughout Scripture, Jesus talks about fear not. He tells his disciples not to fear. Uh, after he was crucified and he rose and he came through the walls to, to meet up with his disciples and they were afraid and he said, fear not, peace I leave to you. Um, and you can imagine at some point that, uh, you know, Jesus might have been afraid. I mean, he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, and he'd take, please take this cup from me, but if it's your will. I imagine there was some little bit of fear in there. Um, but it never stopped him to do what he was meant to do, what his mission was, what his ministry was. Um, you know, the fear that we feel for a lot of things, sometimes irrational fears um, that will never really happen. Um, there are times when we have a healthy dose of fear. If I'm in a big city and I, I see there's a dark alley or there's some um, something that prickles the back of my neck, then I don't dare venture into that. Or um, a sense of, of um, being cautious. And maybe fear is being cautious, maybe. But the, 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 the fear that holds us back and um, from doing what we would like to do or, or could do, um, that is a small step, to one step at a time to, to journey into the, cur the courage to, to overcome the fear to do what we want to do or need to do or what Jesus calls us to do. You know, it's it's uh, during the pandemic. It's fear of other people. Maybe uh, are they carriers? Uh, will we get infected? If we do, how severely? Um, will we give to other people, like our loved ones, and what will happen to them? Um, unknowns are fearful. Uh, what's going to happen to our church during this time? Uh, will there be a church left, meaning people, uh, when the dust settles and we're back to? worshiping in person again, will there be the same people? Will there be fewer? Maybe some have left, we don't know. But there's always fears. Um, but um, Jesus continues to reassure us that um, God is still in charge. God is still at the helm. God is still present with us. And, and nothing can separate us from that. So something to, to think about during the day too. So let's pray. Gracious and loving God, you tell us, you, are, you reassure us that fear, irrational fear, other fears are minor compared to what you give us. Um, 
that in the scheme of things there are other places that we can go in our minds and our emotions that will be more positive and connect and build uh, more productively and more meaningfully. Help us to find those places. Help us to be cognizant of you in our lives, the Holy Spirit directing us in the ways of light and not fear. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, until tomorrow, peace as always.